Welcome teachers, I'm Teacher Sav with ESLEDB. So you've downloaded a lesson from ESLEDB. Now what? Today I'm going to show you how to both open and use EDB and PDF files on the ClassIn platform. The first step is to double click and unzip the file that you received. Now we see all of the files. You'll find an EDB file and a PDF file for each lesson. First, let's talk about the EDB file. You have two options when it comes to opening and using an EDB file on the ClassIn platform. Go to your ClassIn homepage. The first option is to enter a class, the study room as it's called on a cell phone or tablet, or the Blackboard as it's called on the computer. Now we're in the Blackboard classroom. Once you're in the classroom, you'll click on the toolbox, which looks like a little briefcase. Click on the toolbox, and then you'll click on File. This will take you to your computer's files. Find the EDB file that you want and click on it. The file is now uploaded to the classroom, and you can do this in class with your student. Please note that you cannot use this method to open a PDF file. If you try to do that, you'll see that it is grayed out and you cannot click on it. The second option can be used with both EDB and PDF files and is the only option for uploading a PDF file and using it on ClassIn. First, you'll have to go to your ClassIn home screen, which will look like this and you'll click on Drive, which looks like a cloud. I like to create a folder before uploading the files so my drive stays organized and I can find the lessons easily when it's time for class. To do this, click on the green Create button. Then click on Folder. You can name the folder anything you want. I'm naming this one ESLEDB Level 0 Unit 1. Click on the folder you made, so when you upload the files, it goes directly into that folder. Click on the Upload button, and then click on Local File. Select all of the desired files, and then click Open. You'll see them uploading to your drive or class in cloud. Once you've uploaded the files, you might see a little circle and the words transforming on the bottom. It'll just take a moment. Once your file is done uploading and transforming, then go to your classroom, blackboard, or study room. We're in the classroom. You'll see the drive or little cloud icon in your toolbar. Click on the cloud. You'll see all of the folders and files that you've uploaded previously. Click on the folder you want. I'm clicking on ESL EDB Level 0 Unit 1 and I'm going to upload the Lesson 1 EDB file. Do this by clicking on either the picture or the name of the file. Do not click on the box because if you click on the box you'll only be able to copy, move, or delete the file which isn't what we want to do right now. Click on the file name. It will take a moment for it to upload and you might get a little notification. This is what an uploaded EDB file looks like. Let's try out the PDF file. Click on the PDF file name. This is what the PDF file looks like and you can drag and resize it to fit your screen. It takes a few extra steps to upload the files to your cloud or drive, but I highly recommend it because then you can access these files from any device. Thanks for watching and happy teaching from the ESLEDB team. Questions? Send us an email or message at